The BYDK9, sometimes just referred to as the BYD EBUS or BYD Electric Bus, is a battery electric bus manufactured by the Chinese automaker BYD Auto, powered with its self-developed lithium-ion phosphate battery, featuring the longest drive range of 250 kilometers (155 miles) on one single charge under urban road conditions. The first BYD battery electric bus was manufactured on September 30, 2010 in Changsha city of Hunan province. It followed models like F3DM, F6DM and E6. K9 has a 12-meter body length and 18-ton weight with one-step low-floor interior. It is reportedly priced at 2 minus 3 million yuan, $395,000 to $592,600. It has been running and or tested in China, India, Japan, Hong Kong, US, Colombia, Chile, Spain, Netherlands, Denmark and Aruba. More than 200 K9s in service in Shenzhen had accumulated over 9,216,000 kilometers or 5,529,600 miles by the end of August 2012. In both 2011 and 2012, BYD obtained orders from amounting to 1200 plus units. The company extended its production base in Tianjin, China at the end of July, 2012 and may plan to manufacture in Brazil and Windsor, Canada. BYD built and operates an electric bus factory in Lancaster, California, U.S. The new factory started production in October, 2013. In December 2014, another manufacturing plant began operation in Dalian, Liaoning, China. Topic Specifications Topic Official Specifications BYD's official specs publication on its electric bus includes Electric power consumption, less than one hundred kilowatt hours, sixty minutes. Acceleration, 0 to 50 km per hour in 20s Top speed, 96 km per hour Normal charge, 6H for full charge Fast charge, 3H for full charge Overnight charging, 60 kW maximum power for 5H full charge Range 155 miles, 249 kilometers, 186 miles, 299 kilometers, according to some reports. Length width height 12,000 millimeters, asterisk 2,550 millimeters, asterisk 3,200 millimeters. Standard seats 31 plus 1, 31 for passengers and 1 for driver. Weight 18,000 kilograms. Clearance between one step entry and ground, 360 mm TWO or more versions of this bus have been exposed. The two-door version is in service in China's Shenzhen, Changsha, Xi'an and Xiaoguan while the three-door version operates in Shenzhen, Bogotá etc. for test and demonstration purposes. <laughs> Battery and powertrain K9 is powered by LiPo4 batteries, which have been applied to BYD E6, BYD DES and other energy storage products. BYD claims that the chemical materials contained in the battery can be recycled without any toxins. K9's power system uses an in-wheel motor drive and hub reductor. The max power output is 90 kW** 2 and the max torque is 550 Nm 2. Solar panels fixed on the vehicle were once reported to supplement the onboard batteries. They were included on demo units, but not on commercial units. <laughs> <laughs> Safety 
Safety features include unitary construction body, four-wheel disc brakes, ABS plus ASR, one-step easy pass with special footplates for wheelchair access and non-step inside. <laughs> body and interior design The body comes silver, yellow or green for different markets. In the silver version the front windscreen occupies two-thirds of the front of the bus for maximum visibility. It includes adjustable leather seating for driver and red and black leather seats for passengers. The battery packs are laid in the vehicle rear on both sides inside the two cabins. Costs. <laughs> <laughs> BYD calculates that a BYD EBUS over eight years saves about $190,000 in energy costs. In 2012, the price for a BYD EBUS was €380,000, €100,000 more than a comparable diesel bus. <laughs> Policies. At a press conference in Beijing on November 4, 2012, BYD announced, "...zero vehicle purchase price, zero costs, zero emissions," to promote the sale of its E6 and K9. The initiative is supported financially by China Development Bank from a fund totaling over 30 billion RMB $4.6 billion USD, and allows buyers to finance 100% of the purchase price with no down payment, paying a lease rate that effectively costs less than regular monthly operational expenses. Under the scheme, available in China, public transport operators can choose the ownership model from three different options. The company explained the concept of zero costs by comparing difference between the five-year cost of running a conventional taxi in Shenzhen, as against its all-electric taxicab. It came to the conclusion that, if the car runs for five years, and the total saving over five years is deducted from the higher cost of the vehicle and the interest on multiple payments, it can save 326,400 RMB. The company also claimed that if enough distance is covered, the vehicle payment will be entirely offset. BYD also promoted the zero emission feature of its renewable energy vehicles by stating that an E6 electric taxi saves 14,120 litres of fuel per year, with 32 tonnes fewer CO2 emissions. And 169 million litres of fuel could be saved with CO2 emissions reduced by 38.62 million tonnes per year if all Chinese taxis were to be replaced with its electric vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> Global launch <laughs> In 2015, BYD sold about 6,000 of these buses worldwide. BYD became the world leader in the sale of electric vehicles in 2015. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Mainland China. 200 units were delivered to the Shenzhen Public Transmit System to serve the Universiade 2011 in August, 2011 and remained as part of this city's transport system. This world's largest electric bus fleet had reportedly accumulated over 9,216,000 kilometers or 5,529,600 miles by the end of August, 2012. By 2017 the fleet had increased to 780, covering more than 106 million kilometers 66 million miles. Two buses began trial service in Changsha 100 more were expected to begin service there in 2012. 
BYD's Changsha facility was to produce 20,000 passenger vehicles and 400 pure electric buses, increasing to 3,000 electric buses and 100,000 passenger vehicles in 2013. Three K9s began service in Xiaoguan, Guangzhou Province in November 3, 2011. Four K8s began service in Xi'an in August 2012 with another 46 units expected to join them around the end of 2012. Haikou City began testing K9s in August 2011. In July 2012 BYD and Tianjin Public Transportation Group Limited agreed to set up a joint venture to produce new energy vehicles. It became the company's second K9 production site in mainland China. The largest K9 fleet since 2014 was in Dalian, 600 units. A further 600 vehicles was planned to arrive in 2015. In May 2014 BYD announced an order of 2,000 Ebuses and 1,000 Etaxis for Hangzhou. As of 2014 China about 500,000 conventional city buses were in daily use. BYD sold in 2014 in the first quarter more than 4,000 vehicles, while sales of former market leader Daimler dropped by 20% in 2013. North America BYD announced its bus in the U.S. at the 16th BUSCON in Chicago on September 13, 2011. BYD supplied one K9 bus to be retrofitted with Waves wireless charging pad under the bus, developed by the Utah State University Energy Dynamics Laboratory in 2012. The city of Windsor, Ontario signed a letter of intent to order as many as 10 BYD electric buses in May, 2012. BYD has supplied the Los Angeles Metro system with buses since 2015. A 2018 investigation by the Los Angeles Times found reliability issues with the BYD buses. Aruba plans to use BYD by 2020. The country signed a Memorandum of Understanding MOU with BYD to place four BYD buses and one E6 electric taxi for public, government use, to be in service by the end of September 2013. The Regional Transportation District in Denver, Colorado ordered 36 BYD buses for use on their downtown mall shuttle. Translink, which services Vancouver, British Columbia began a three-month trial of BYD bus in May 2017. <laughs> South America On June 20, 2012, BYD and Chilean collaborator INDUMOTORA Company secured a contract with ALSACIA, one of the biggest operators in Santiago's public transport system, for 5K9 units. However up to now, METBUS, another operator of Santiago's public transport system, operates two BYD K9 FE units. BYD scheduled a large commercial operation of its K9 in Brazil and set up a bus production factory there which, however, is not certified by BYD. The mayor of São Paulo, Brazil confirmed plan to introduce at least five BYD electric buses to São Paulo by the end of 2012. At the beginning of 2012, BYD and Bookwebus officials signed a contract to begin importing 500 buses into Uruguay. According to Bernama, the first buses would arrive in Uruguay before during 2012 with 500 buses running by 2015. BYD entered a fuel efficiency testing program in Colombia run by the Clinton Climate Initiative and Inter-American Development Bank Running against diesel and CNG hybrid buses on a 12-mile route that took between 60 and 90 minutes to complete, BYD won by achieving a 7.3 km per liter equivalent by measuring costs and 11 km per liter equivalent measuring by energy output. Peru has also tested BYD's electric bus. 
A fleet of 12 meter 80 passenger units was to be delivered to Bogota for trial operation as of Q2 2013. The first one month stage of this project was to focus on testing the fleet on operational performance, energy consumption, battery behavior, and total energy consumption. In December 2018, 100 units were added to the public transport system of Santiago de Chile, together with the first charge terminal for electric buses in Latin America. Topic East Asia, Southeast Asia and South Asia Hong Kong. In July, 2011, the BYD Hong Kong Research and Development Center opened with a group of six engineers, in cooperation with its existing development team. The Kowloon Motor Bus Fleet reportedly ordered 10 buses from BYD. The first unit arrived in September 2012. The Public Transit Service planned to test the units on three transmit lines. The Kowloon Motor Bus BYD bus was eventually returned to BYD. However, KMB ordered 10 BYD K9R with Gemalang body and delivered in 2017. Long Win Bus ordered 4 BYD K9R with Gemalang body and delivered in 2017. Citybus and NWFB ordered 5 BYD K9R electric buses from BYD Auto of China. India, in December 2013, Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corporation planned to start a three-month test of a K9. In 2018 June 18th Kerala State Road, Transport Corporation started trial run in Trivandrum City. Malaysia, in February 2014, BYD won the bid to supply 15 buses to Rapid Bus, a Prasarana Malaysia subsidiary. Rapid Bus will be using the 15 electric buses as shuttle buses on Kuala Lumpur's first BRT line on elevated guideway exclusively for electric buses namely BRT Sunway line. Philippines, on 8 November 2017, BYD will deliver 10 buses and 12 vans to the Philippines in 2018. It will be available through the official Philippine distributor Colombian Motors Corporation CMC sales network. It officially launched to the local market on 30 May 2018. Japan, in February 2015, Kyoto Kyokou Bus Inc. of Kyoto, Japan, took delivery of five BYD electric buses, making BYD the first Chinese auto company to enter the Japanese market. Singapore, SMRT Corporation Limited, Singapore's premier multimodal transport service provider signed an MOU in June 2011 with BYD to consider a joint venture to distribute BYD's electric buses and E6 taxis in Singapore. Go Ahead Singapore, under the Go Ahead Group of the United Kingdom, together with Land Transport Authority delivered its first fully electric bus. It will undergo vigorous testing and be put to service for trial runs for six months. The bus made its first debut on 7 November 2016 on Service 17. After that, it went on hiatus, before coming back on Service 119 on February. <laughs> Australasia NZ Bus is trialling a BYD EBUs for up to three months in Auckland and Wellington from February 2017. <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle East In August 2012, a contract for 700 electric bus delivery was completed between BYD and Israeli transit company Dan Bus. The first buses were expected to be deployed in 2012. Based on the market price of 2.1 million yuan United States dollars, the contract is estimated to be worth 1.5 billion yuan million United States dollars. The contract was BYD's largest order to date from a public transport operator outside of China. Europe 
BYD electric bus has been tested in European countries including Netherlands, Finland, Germany, Hungary and Spain and Denmark in cities such as Bremen and Bonn, Helsinki, Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Madrid, Barcelona and Warsaw. Finland on March 12, 2012, BYD and a Finland-based transportation company, Veolia Transport Finland OI, reached an agreement for K9s for the Finnish capital city Helsinki. BYD's K9 buses were to undergo a three-year performance test under Finland's conditions of extreme cold. Spain, a successful two-week road test of BYD electric bus was conducted by the two main Spanish municipal public transportation companies, EMT Madrid and TMB Barcelona. Germany, BYD signed a letter of intent with Frankfurt, Germany to supply three K9s and two charging stations by the end of the first quarter of 2012. The buses were to serve as shuttles at Frankfurt Airport and along public transportation routes. Netherlands, the island of Schiermonnikoog in the province of Friesland introduced six new, long-range, K9s in April 2013 after BYD scored the highest in meeting program goals and won an order for the six buses and a 15-year maintenance contract from a European open bid supported by four major bus manufacturers. 35 BYD K9s are in service as airport bus between the terminal and B gates at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport since 2015. The buses are adapted for the airport use and charged via a solar power station at the airport. Several other public transport authorities throughout the Netherlands have BYD K9s on order. Poland, in 2013, the capital city of Poland, Warsaw, Warsaw tested K9. BYD claims about three hours of charging time were not confirmed, the minimum was over five hours. 250 km range was found, less than the required 350 km. United Kingdom, in 2013 two units began operating on two central London routes, said to be the capital's first fully electric buses. Transport for London planned to purchase six more BYD buses in 2014. In July 2015, Go Ahead London confirmed they would order 51 BYD electric buses with Alexander Dennis Enviro 200 MMC bodywork. In March 2016, the first of a fleet of five double-decker electric buses was launched by Metroline with an extended range of 190 miles. In 2016, Nottingham Community Transport received a batch for the park and ride services. Topic. See also List of electric bus makers and models